Hi everyone, I'm Christina from That Canadian Teacher. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your Google site that much more attractive by adding customized banners at the top of your page. So all you need to be successful at this is PowerPoint. So if you have that, you're ready to go. Let's get started. So as you can see here in PowerPoint, on the left-hand side are all of the various banners that I have for my web page. And basically all we're looking at here is one image with a shape in the front and then some text uh, in the front of that. And what I've done is I've actually put a banner for every kind of um, subcategory of the various elements of history that we look at um, and the different kind of time periods throughout Canadian history. So how we go about creating this, let's start with a new document or a new presentation. So once you've opened up your new presentation, you can go ahead and close out the templates. We don't need that. Now we're going to need to change up the size of our page. And to do that, we're going to go up to file and page setup. And the sizing that I use is actually 11 width, uh, 11 inches, and then three inches tall. And so I'm just going to hit scale and then you get kind of that banner shape that you want. Now you can go ahead and delete these um, uh, text boxes here. And so just go and find whatever image that you want to have as your background. So when you're looking to pick an image, you just wanna make sure that you're picking an image that is of a higher resolution. It doesn't have to be particularly high. So you see 640 by 639 here. Um, that's uh, not particularly uh, large, but it's also not small either. So um, as long as it's, I would say over about 500, you're pretty good uh, in that regard. You'll also want to find one that's a little bit longer. So you see the shape of this one is a little bit more square. You're going to want to find one that's a little bit longer in its look. So um, you can see this one's a little bit longer. So we're going to use this one. And what you're going to want to do is you can either right click and then save um, image as, or you can go ahead and just drag it into your PowerPoint. So you can see how it hasn't quite fit properly on the page here. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that it fits the corners, um, unless this is what you're looking for, but um, let's try to fill it up uh, to the whole size of it. So there's a lot of empty space here. So you see there's some space at the bottom that I don't really need because I want to have the tram here. And of course, I want to have the dome. Um, so I'm going to kind of play around with the sizing to just kind of make it fit within that space. Okay, so you see how this is bigger than the thing that's behind it, that, uh, that shape that's behind it. So what we're going to do to change the shape of it is we're going to right click on it and then we're going to crop. And so you'll see these little kind of black corners and black lines. You're gonna use them to kind of guide it up to that white space. Now you see the white space just below it there. So we're going to put it right there and then we're gonna move this in a little bit as well, and we're gonna just hit all of our corners. And there we have the banner fitting relatively perfectly. If you, for whatever reason, feel that it didn't quite fit that space, just hit that crop again, and you can adjust the uh, angle that you want. So if you want, let's say, a little bit lower or a little bit higher, um, you can move it around like that by just holding, uh, holding it down. So that was right-click and then crop again. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit more faded. Now, you don't have to do that, but that's something that I did my original uh, banner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click and I'm going to format the picture. So once I'm in format picture, I'm going to select this last tab here and you're going to see picture transparency. So I'm going to click that for the drop down and I'm just going to change the transparency to, you know, whatever I particularly uh, like or want to see it as. So I, I'll leave it at about uh, 20, about 30, I think is, is good. Um, so this is especially good if you have a colorized photo. Um, it will make the photo a little um, a less saturated with color. Um, and so for me, you know, I personally like that. But if you want it as the full color, you can certainly do that as well. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add in a shape, we're going to select the insert and then shape. And I'm going to select a square here. So I'm just going to draw what should be the square. It's actually a rectangle, but um, we'll just draw it right here in front. Now you'll see it defaults to the blue. Um, we don't want blue. We're going to want uh, to maybe like a white color instead. So I'm going to come up here to the shape fill 
and I'm going to change it to white. So now it's a white um, fill. But you see it's taking up a lot of the photo. We can't even see the photo that's behind it. So we're going to do the same thing we did for the, the back part is we're going to uh, right click on the photo. So make sure that it's highlighted by the squares that are on the corners. So we're going to right click and then we're going to format the shape. And then you see here it shows up on the first tab, so the little paint can. Um, and then we're just going to make it transparent to whatever degree that we want. So um, whatever you're comfortable with, I think, uh, let's say about 58 or 60 should be good. If you look closely, you'll see that there's a little bit of blue line that's going around it. So we need to get rid of that. So again, we're going to right click and we're going to format shape and we're going to select line. And then we're going to choose no line. So now we've removed that line, unless of course you want the line. Now we're going to be adding our text. Now the, the best way to do this is to just select insert text box and then just draw your text box here. Now you can rearrange this, of course. Now you could also type on the shape itself, but I find that you have a little bit more flexibility if you have um, a text box um, instead, because then you can kind of move around the text box, make it slightly ajar uh, from the banner itself. Uh, it's, you know, you have a little bit more flexibility with that. So we're going to uh, put the text box here and I'm just gonna put I don't know, Expo 67. Okay. Now the font here is not particularly exciting, nor is it very large. So we're going to change up the font that we're using. So this is where you can kind of have a little bit of fun. So um, you can select whatever uh, font type that you want to use. I personally like to use the KG blank space, um, but you can kind of play with around with anything that you want. Now keep in mind that um, the uh, fatter the font, so something like KG blank space, this allows you to have that kind of outline to it, but a thinner font, let's say like APL Kinder Peeps, um, these thinner fonts won't show the the uh, outlines of it as well. So we'll um, stick with the blank space one here. Um, so some of these fonts you can purchase on Teachers Pay Teachers or you can um, get them from places like Defont. Um, many of them are free for personal use. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just enlarge it to a size that I like. Now, this is a matter of preference. So I like it, you know, pretty close to the size of that kind of middle, middle banner. Now to make it centered, my uh, trick, like you can certainly play around with it and, and eyeball it, but my little trick is just to extend out the end so that it goes all the way to the ends and then center this. So now it's centered. Now, if we want to make this outlined, we're going to highlight it and we're going to format text effects. Once you're in the format shape area, so you just wanna make sure that you're on the text options, you're going to make sure that you've highlighted off your text box, and then you're going to go to the A with kind of the bar underneath it, and this is where you're going to play around with whatever color you want. So if you want a nice deep red, you can make it red, and then if you want an outline, you're just gonna select solid line and then choose whichever color that you're looking for. So I did it uh, for a black here, and I can make it a little bit uh, larger, in its size, so you can kind of play around, play around with all that kind of stuff there. If you wanted to make the the font a little bit more transparent, you can do that as well. So first, in order for you to make it into an image, what you want to do is you want to highlight all of the uh, elements together, and then you're going to right click, and then you're going to group it. So once it's grouped, you're going to right click on it again, and then you're going to save as picture. So once you've saved as picture, you're going to choose it so that it's the, the option of a JPEG, and you're going to save it to your hard drive. So once you're in Google Sites, you're going to either choose blank, or you're going to choose your site that if you've already created one. So I'm going to create uh, a new one, so I'm going to do blank, and then it's going to give me kind of a default header here. So I'm going to want to replace this. So I'm going to hover over this banner, and you'll see that change image pops up. So so just select change image and then upload and then upload that JPEG that you just downloaded from PowerPoint. Okay, so here you see that the image that we just created is in the background here, but you notice a couple of things. So the first is that it's got your title page kind of right on top of it. So we want to get rid of that. So we're going to hover over it or click on it and then we're going to hit remove. So it's, it's just removed it all, but you see how it's still faded, right? So to make that a little bit crisper, I'm going to select this little kind of star here and I'm going to, to cross it out. So now it's much 
much sharper. And that gives you your banner. So let's have a look at what that would look like for the user. So this is what they would see if they were looking at the website naturally, and you can actually even preview what it would look for a mobile or a tablet. You can also make it a theme. So if you had, you know, your name and you wanted it on all of the pages, you could do that as well by just creating a theme using the same process that we just did with making this banner. And that's how you make a unique banner using PowerPoint and Google Sites. Mm -hmm.